Hello. Together. <laughs> um, I'd like to present you a DH distiller, a quite recent um, Deb Helper plugin, which adds um, support to another um, build system. So, uh, but first, a few questions. I guess everyone in here knows Deb Helper. Um, who packages Perl modules in here? Oh, I see two people coming in who do, <laughs> at least. You were just in time. Um, so who packages Perl tools? Well, okay. Some. Um, who packages his own Perl tools uh, as a dep? Well, okay. So who knows the Scylla? Okay, always the same group, I think, here. And who uses the Scylla for his own Perl modules? Okay, so we'll need a little bit introduction into um, the Scylla. Um, the Scylla is basically a helper for Debian, uh, for Perl uh, module authors, which don't want to repeat themselves. CPAN you, uh, needs quite some um, files which contain metadata like the dependencies, um, some exact commands to uh, build the distribution, Etc., and those usually um, are dependent from your actual Perl code. What the Scylla does uh, is, in many with many plugins, look at your Perl code and um, generate generate uh, it generates this file these files um, upon build. So you only need usually one single configuration file which has all the non-deterministic um, metadata, like maybe sometimes the version, which isn't hard-coded in a module, sometimes you can say, oh, take the version from that module, there it is in, et cetera. Um, it has a quite, uh, the Scylla's command is dsyl, and it works similar to git in the sense that it has subcommands, so they are, commands to build the distribution, to run coverage, to install it, to te run the test suite, to, run, uh, to actually make a release and upload it to CPAN. So um, that's all very, all very nice and helpful, so you don't have to commit any generated files into your Git repository. They are just put into the final tarball, but it makes Debian packaging a little bit uh, difficult if you have such a Git repository. Um, the typical uh, workflow, uh, if you have a, um, such a Git repository, is you build the tarball for CPAN. We import it into the upload branch for Debian with all the generated stuff included. Um, and then you merge that branch again into the Debian branch. There may be a Pristin tar branch be involved too, so you have already four branches. Then you update the packaging, build the dep, and upload it too. That's quite a lot of things you need to do, usually mainly. A few of them you can um, shortcut with using git build package, git import org, etc. But still, what I want um, is building the dep di um, directly from my checked out git branch, from the master branch, which only has dist ini and my Perl code. Uh, I want to skip the tarball generation and especially the re-import of importing generated stuff into Git repository. It's not my thing. So um, that's where DH Distiller comes in. DH Distiller is a um, plugin to Dep Helper, which knows about this ini and does all the right steps to build a Debian package from such a um, git repository for, or doesn't need to be git, but um, can be any other uh, ECS. So um, there are two obstacles uh, when using the helper with such a uh, repository. There's no build PL or make file PL, so it won't recognize it as Perl module. And um, well, for bootstrapping, dh make Perl won't find the metadata. 
The first step currently is a manu manual one. You want a diesel build, go into the build directory. There, dhmakepearl finds everything it needs, and you copy back the Debian directory. Um, but the, rim, uh, the other step is uh, yeah, what DH distiller currently is about. It will generate um, build PL, make file PL in a subdirectory, and then we'll tell DH auto configure, DH auto build um, to do the actual build inside that subdirectory with the generated um, metadata. So, um, and same for clean, it, instead of DH, uh, well, it also runs DH auto clean, but um, the main clean target is uh, doing the diesel clean run, which cleans up the build directory. Nothing more is actually needed in the most cases. So um, it's quite a um, small step helper plugin, but does uh, what is needed. So how does it look like? if I use DH distiller in my Debian package. It's as simple as adding dash dash with distiller. So then Deb Helper knows, oh, okay, I have to load that module, which fiddles around a little bit with my sequences, and um, it will find the dist ini, and uh, just does the right thing. So from the workflow, it may be a little bit unusual then. Usually, um, you check out uh, the VCS called DCL build, um, yeah, CPAN tarball, and then you build the source package out of that, and then the binary package. With DH distiller, you can uh, see uh, the CPAN tarball and the Debian binary package as two different um, targets. So you have the same source code, exactly same source code, and you want to build the CPAN tarball, which is some kind of binary package, source package at the same time, and you build the Debian binary package just out of the VCS, which equals the Debian source package. We have already one example uh, Perl module packaged in Debian. Um, as of, well, not yesterday, uh, likely more to mo uh, today in the morning at three o'clock. Um, lib run parts Perl in Debian Unstable uses uh, DH distiller. Um, for the past year, there was uh, always a lib run parts Perl copy of the normal package built with DH distiller in experimental. So we have now that in uh, Debian Unstable. And um, at that time, I could also merge the master branch of the, which I use for the CPAN upload and the former DH distiller branch I used for the experimental packaging. Um, there's just no, only one branch now. And you can build CPAN module, the uh, CPAN distribution as well as the Debian package out of it. So um, there's still some ideas how to improve it. We have um, one thing I can show you that in the not sure if you can read that. We'll use the X term. Oh, well, we'll use the new X term. I can enlarge the, uh, well, large. Does that work out? I can, yes. Thanks for the notice. I think it's in here somewhere. No. Oh. There, where's the video? That's better? Can you read it back there? So, um, I'm now lying. It's not man maintained under the package Perl team because of the, well, unusual workflow. Um, so you see even the uh, remains of the last build I did. Uh, this is what I uploaded to CPAN last night. Um, there's this ini file. Can have a look. So um, basically, that's the stuff uh, which it doesn't know about or puts into even my PM files automatically. There are some rules what I want to have generated, what I want, uh, which tests I wanted to have run. 
it should not commit any uh, coverage stuff. Um, so um, that's already a quite um, big dist in e, but still. The interesting thing is the Debian rules file, which I wanted to show you. Um, because there's a little bit more things in than just this line. That one is, well, specific to the actual uh, module. I really have in there files which end in a tilde because they are part of the test suite. Um, the thing I'm not yet happy with is this here. I need to get, generate a Debian Auric target Z um, out of my Git repository, which is quite easy because Git uh, provides a subcommand for that, but um, this command is quite long. Actually, I think it's more than half of the whole Debian rules file, and it even um, uses this uh, shell script, which um, provides me um, the right package name base, including the um, version number. So if I run that script, it just outputs lib one parts underscore co uh, dot co nine. So because I, that's what I want to have in the tarball as a directory name. That's something I want to put in DH distiller um, and tell it, well, Deb Helper now knows about get auric source, for example. Although I prefer the auric target Z um, target named after Christoph Berg's famous auric target Z command which just does the right thing. Um, back to the slides. And another nice thing would be to have a, a diesel subcommand which just calls dhmakepearl in the right directory, copies back Debian, the Debian directory, and just does, does the right thing without having uh, too much, well, very deterministic work manually. Yeah. And Actually, that's already it, what I wanted to present. You can have the slides uh, on no one org slash talks slash package Perl. Well, again, it's not the team, but it's about packaging Perl stuff. Um, DH Distiller was written uh, by Elmar Heap, who is sitting over here. And it was also his idea and um, myself, yeah. Um, it's hosted on, on GitHub, and uh, you can also find it in Debian Jesse uh, already. So it's uh, all things I showed you, you can use in Debian Stable as of now. Um, well, yeah, the helper is maintained um, in, inside Debian. The Scylla has its web page on dsil.org as the subcommand, and well, dhmakepearl is even on um, CPAN too. So you can read the documentation, for example, over there if you want some details. Yeah, so actually, thanks for listening. I'm happy that uh, so many came for this, well, very specific topic. Um, and maybe someone starts using DHD Scylla too. I'm quite happy with it. That's why I'm presenting it here. Thanks. If there are questions, feel free. Look like thinking. Okay, the tarball is it committed somewhere? Is there a pristine tar branch or is it just lying Not around? Not yet, but I think that's a very good idea to do. So um, I think I'll put that into the same subcommand because it's the obvious, obvious thing to do too. Yeah, to make sure you have the same table the next time. Maybe having a look at um, dot .gbp conf if the maintainer prefers to have pristine tar enabled or so. 
reusing infrastructure from other tools there, or putting that in Destiny, maybe, mm -hmm. as an option. So yeah, well, there are still, as mentioned here, a few ideas mm -hmm. to do that. I'm also currently uh, using the .xz uh, compression and file format for now, because that's the current default in Debian 2. So but I still would pre uh, name the um, target Oric target Z, GZ because I'm so used to it, but well. Okay, thank you. Okay, then thanks for, th th thanks for the presentation. I think everything that uh, uh, eases the workflow for the Debian packaging stuff, it all helps all of us. So 